Hello. Hey. How are we doing? Greetings. Ah. You guys ever call me fanboying ah. over the anime? There is a windstorm. There's a storm of the wind. Yeah, yeah we're we're running. Uh, so yes, if you if you hear that our audio is a little off today, uh, the air conditioning is currently not working. Uh, it's very hot outside. It's even hotter inside, and we have fans going. So yeah. our audio, we appreciate you being patient. Our audio might be a little slightly worse than normal, but hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, so I am an even greasier clown than normal today. We're so greasy. <laughs> We're all glistening. Uh, oh yeah, a bit of a sheen. Yeah. Sweating through our clothes. If we oh, all have heat stroke, I do. I do have one announcement. If I pass out and die from mm -hmm. heat stroke, just continue on without me. All right. Can we? And, uh, who should take over your corpse for a warm? No, but oh, can we? Can I puppet you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a no, no, stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can burn me. Shark. <laughs> that would be perfect. Can you? This might be a disaster. Just gently push that boom. Forward. Oh yeah, it's gonna yeah. be a, it's gonna be a disaster. Just, yeah, my you guys should see what what we have set up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I see. Keep going, keep going. I took some, I took some pictures. I might post keep them going, on like, going, the, going, the, going, the Patreon going. chat. Yeah. Okay, yeah. to see the behind oh, the scenes. A little bit back, a little bit back, a little bit back. Not anchor. I'm good. No. The corner you can see our. It's fine. There we go. You can see my our windshields here, trying to protect the microphones. Yeah, windshield is a great band name. Okay. What do you think? Should I start the announcements? Sure. Give that. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Once Upon a Witchlight. While uh, you are so kind to give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and check that bell so you never miss an episode, I am going to read the reading of the comments, like I always do, from the previous episode of uh, Once Upon a Witchlight. It's episode 26. Ah, quote, all caps. I should not be allowed to watch these at night. I can't sleep because I've been laughing so much. <laughs> Sorry. I adore all of these characters. I have never seen a single LOA character that doesn't just absolutely brighten my day. Hope to play in slash DM a table like yours someday. Oh, I hope the same. Thank you. Very nice. I can't drink coffee because I have heart problems, but thanks to Goodberry, I will drink it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say, YOLO! You're killing people! Oh, and then, shucks. last but not least. Allegedly, you can't prove it in court. <laughs> last but not least, absolutely love the chaos. Hee haw. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to check out our patreon and merch shop as well uh because that helps make all of this possible and thank you for watching uh, I, I, well i need a window seat because this flower is wilting <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna put a bunch of bizquick into my shorts <coughs> so that when the session is over i can make some painting why would you add more bisquick to your shorts <laughs> you already have so much bisquick you already have so much bisquick down there exterminate exterminate yeah doll you sound like a dalek thank you yeah. oh. oh that beautiful bean footage rich once upon a witchlight hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear. And so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear. A song that calls the spirits there. A song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal. A rocking horse with ashen mane, around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame, with mighty hooves and sturdy frame, no better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne, the prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. 
Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion, each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. When season stopped, the final day, at last the prince found halves of clay. He shed a tear. This would not do. His favorite toy was split in two. It stank and had a horrid face, but in his heart held special place. Through toil this crack he would erase. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witch-light hour. <laughs> Matt Smith looks really good. In a oh, no, ring. she's convulsing! Get her! Uh, Help! Get her, get her! <laughs> Come on, Mike, do, do the hive mind! Do the hive mind! Do the hive mind. Everybody do the hive mind. What is it? The hive mind. Okay, that's not. Okay, we're done. Somebody clip that. <laughs> Nobody clip that. <laughs> oh man! You want some ice? So it was really hot last night, mm-hmm. and I trundled out here to the freezer, mm-hmm. and I found a really old thing of cubed ice that mm-hmm. we had probably forgotten from years ago, and I put it in a little bag, and I took it in with me. And I just put it in my clothes. <laughs> yeah. It's like a reverse, like heating bottle. Yeah, you know, like they used to. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah. It melted instantly upon contact with the air. I put a large tray of dirt into my room and performed the cooling uh, behaviors of a chinchilla, and I just, <laughs> I just covered myself. You just rolled around in it. Like yeah. Yeah. That also did not it work. Just, yeah, it didn't work. Don't worry. This my room is a fucking disaster right now. <laughs> Dirt everywhere, yeah. It just uh, slime. That yeah. chinchilla lied to me. Yeah, fucking chinchilla asshole. Okay, this eat is it, fine. Mikey. <laughs> they call it dust, not dirt. I was just saying, I think it specifically oh, it's specifically dust. It's dust. dust. Oh, yeah. wow. Well. Shit, I should have bought dust. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder it didn't cool you down. Uh, I shouldn't have believed scurvy chinchilla. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, scurvy chinchilla lied to me. His name was a little on the nose. Scurvy <laughs> old scurvy chinchilla. He's a man out of scurvy chinchilla. That's the, that's the art. That's the, <laughs> just <laughs> all of our characters. <laughs> That's a good one. No, 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 no. no. You That's take, not the problem. You take all of our characters and you turn them into like Scurvy Sylvie or Scurvy Vandra, like pirate versions yeah. of all of our oh, characters. That could be really okay. fun. If, um, and our double pirate our version pirate of Brexit. <laughs> I no, just, I, I just wish I got two, yeah. new guns. two hats, yeah. two eye patches. <laughs> he lied to me. I, I asked him for his secret when he said, "I'm chinchillin." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm chinchillin. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it's like. Dirt or something. Uh, I, I need to go into the grocery, the uh, the freezer aisle and pick up a bunch of hungry man oo-woos and just shove them. <laughs> and like, I need some hungry man oo-woos. <laughs> hungry man. Oh, hungry man I think Andy's oo-woos. dead. Andy's dying. Uh, <coughs> you know, people are... remember, you're not allowed to laugh this session. I know. No, you can. You I'm can gonna laugh. I'm gonna pass out if I. Someone laugh. knows CPR probably, right? That feels. Yeah. I feel like Andy. I know CPR. Oh. I can't do it myself. <laughs> sure I also can operate I, an AED I got you, buddy. You go down. I'll CPR you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll even give you a little. He's an eagle scout. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll even give it's you a little. It's kind of enticing time. now. I'm gonna, I'm somebody make I'm me laugh. Chest right. impressions, <laughs> and then I'm gonna get in there. And, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think he's having to give him a little tug, <laughs> no, no, no. and I'm like, no. Whoa! <laughs> See how he does. What is this Derek's announcements all over again? <laughs> if, he's, uh, if he's really struggling, we got a jump start me. It's like a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look at what you're doing. You're gonna kill him. I was looking for. Uh, <laughs> right. No one was harmed.
Starve in the crew. Do we have a business insurance? Do we have insurance? No. Oh, God. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll a sure. D100. Jesus We're going to be here all fucking week. <laughs> I got a... 100! Oh! There it is. Oh, it's right. an omen of some kind. It's an omen. I swear, I, I, it is. If we die, we die. That feels really good. My what first D100-100. We've, ro- we've rolled D100 hundreds of times. <laughs> yeah. At least dozens well, of, or hundreds of times. Up. Yeah. No one. Oh. Anyway, well, I'm not going to get divine intervention, so... Time that's... to play? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just... Oh, wait, music? Yeah. I was like, oh, the you rolled the D100. I'm going to use the D100 list that I haven't used in a while. Ooh! Your knees become fused. You lose the <laughs> no <way. laughs> I shit you fucking what, like literally I can show you. Yeah. You do generate bargain. That's the one that Incredible. Came it's literally yeah. destiny. It is you destiny. can't avoid it. This, you. this is your fate. Can't grumble is very un- displeased. <laughs> It's blue, my fucking legs. <laughs> okay, all right, let's play D and think, I think I can oh, think sorry. for That's a minute. Fine. I'm good. I'm just trying to ogleth, ogleth, mundle mud, grumple, squawk, and rebel. I don't even think I have your names written down. If I'm being honest with you, uh, Rimble almost <laughs> remembers all of them. Oh no, I do. Okay. I got them. I did something. Oh, you're just the only name I didn't write down. Rimble, you forgot Rimble. Oh, Rimble's not surprised. Things are looking up. <laughs> Everything's coming up, Rimble. <laughs> well, I gotta say, Frosty, uh, today mm. I think we're all a little bog bottom. <laughs> That's why when I got up, I didn't turn around. I just like shuffled with my face towards the camera because I don't want anybody to see my fucking swamp. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> nothing to cure uh, bug bottom. Unfortunately, uh, it's fatal. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> oh, where are we again? I believe that we just won the entire adventure module. Right? Yeah, no, the campaign's We're, over, actually. This is our post-campaign of Andrews and Chill. Oh, wow. We are meeting um, oh. Mugwort Slop. Margo. Margo. Oh, Margo. We Margo. Saw the Margo. Yeah. We saw the prison, and it was like a... It, I, two I can prisons. start the session. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Please. Oh. Can, you, can, you, can you, in your description, say that Morgo is only a pawn in the game of life? <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm going down. <laughs> it's too for this shit. I came up here for this. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes. Are you ready? Not really. It's really hot in here. Um, you, you are now members of the Soggy Court. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, Daddy, oh, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I, I would like. I would like you. I would like you all to roll a d twenty. Oh no! Oh, yeah. More goes. Uh, Ribble didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you know what? Fine. You don't have to. Oh, yeah, no, I, was cool. I was cool. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm I'm gonna, I'll accept my fate. Yeah. Eleven. Nineteen. Eleven. <laughs> Nineteen. I'm oh, choosing cool. between the uh Oh, that's the smart. List. Ooh. She's already hating us. She's already I ain't telling you nothing, nothing, kids. <laughs> you will take okay. no What did you get, Grammy? Thirteen. Gricko? Eleven. Frost? Fine. Okay, cool. We'll resolve those as I see fit. Okay. <laughs> you Jesus. are. I love that. You are now knights or members of the Soggy Court in name only. After your meeting with King Gollop the 19th, you have discovered a bit more about what it means to be a member of the Soggy Court, what the politics are like, and who this king really is. There is still one pawn in play, someone that you have yet to meet. The leader of the resistance. But that will have to wait in time because you've been sent on a mission to deal with Morgo, the former Knight of Wards, who has been imprisoned 
in the jail of the soggy court for crimes against the court in her uh particip- in her participation in the escape of the uh, the fairy dragon and uh i cannot think it is fucking hot in here <laughs> jesus christ it's okay uh, <clears throat> In her part of the escape of the the fairy dragon, uh, Bavlorna is not pleased that the fairy dragon has gone missing, as he was held captive in her hut, or in her cottage. King Gullip believes that Morgo, who had always been an honorable knight, doesn't necessarily deserve the fate that she has been handed. But as the new king, and with all eyes on him and a coup already in effect, he cannot step in and determine a more kind fate for her. So he sent you on the mission of speaking with her to see what information you could find and potentially coming up with a solution to the problem. All before you're expected to be at the, at Soggy Castle to participate in an event for the kingdom in hopes that it will raise the spirits of downfall and thus gain him some favor with the with the courtiers all culminating in one grand event that Kremi has been voluntold to participate in electrum chef oh yeah <laughs> but for now you have made your way to the jail <clears throat> stepping forward the guards blocked your path but upon showing them the king the king's specific um, pendant that he gave you, the brooch that belonged solely to King Gullip the 19th. The guards easily stepped away and Ooh. no longer hindered your path as you were able to move forward towards where Margot is held. Rising from the soggy earth is a sturdy wooden hut with an open doorway on one side of it. At the back of the hut are two holding cells. Thick mangrove roots serve as bars with a small round door closing off each cell. The floor of one cell is covered with several inches of stinking water. The other cell holds a figure in rags slumped against the back wall. And as you move forward, the sounds of your your footsteps are not quiet in this open in this open area. She lifts her head and makes eye contact with you from beneath the um, beneath the brim of a dirty and and moldy hood as she looks quickly between all of you and says, I'm not telling you anything. <clears throat> well, you don't know who we are. And I'm telling you, I'm not telling you anything. My lips are sealed. There's nothing to say. What if uh, I've told <clears throat> you that we're on the up and up and the, you know, we've, we're pretty hip to the old Bunko game, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, we didn't introduce ourselves correctly. Are there guard? Are there guards? There were guards at the entrance, but they stepped. It's just you standing in at the top of this platform. There are two cells. One's empty and partially um, covered in water. The other one just has Mar- um, Morgo in it. And she is, um, she's slumped against the wall and she's just barely looking at you um, from under <clears throat> her her hood. Does it seem like the guards would be in within within earshot? No. Ooh. So we have they, absolute They have privacy. given you privacy. You showed them the, the brooch that the king gave you. Okay. And they understand that you have a level of authority here that far outranks them. Aside from the invisible chinchilla that's been following us through the entire adventure. <laughs> you mean Twig? Yeah. Oh, Twig's here too? No, she's hanging out with the scarecrow, Clapper Claw. Oh, right. So it's just us and the chinchilla. It's just you and the chinchilla and Marco. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, scurvy, introduce yourself. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, why is he doing that? <laughs> Torbett riddled 
Hold on, some wine. <laughs> yeah, he's been here the whole time, and he's oh, never done okay. that once. So this, I have to comment. Someone said, I'm in Maryland, and it's 69 degrees. Yes, our AC is broken. Well, and it depends and where you're there is Maryland, something where... about this house. It's fucking 81 generates... outside. generates... <laughs> yeah. Heat rises. It probably we're by, on the floor by the, the Chesapeake Bay or the ocean. We're on the fourth floor of fourth this floor. house. Also, there's... It generates heat. <sighs> we're locked in yeah, by hell? fleece mm, and mm, blankets mm, that are covering our windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have have the Chesapeake Bay cooling on the walls. walls. We can't do anything. There's fo- it is so hot. There's soundproofing yeah. foam. We might as well be wrapped inside of a carpet taco. <laughs> Low tide is in my pants. <laughs> I wish I were where you are right now. Oh, where are you? Oh. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Mom. I'm, I'm, I'm out of this whole prison thing. You like Bunko? Oh, you like Bunko a lot. Um, <laughs> she, she looks, she tilts her head up a little more and the hood falls back from her face. And you can see that, um, she is a, she's clearly not been fed much over her stay here as her eyes have sunken in. She looks, um, she looks like she's becoming a bit emaciated. Um, she was a small bullywug to begin with. Um, but her time here is clearly taking its toll. The bags under her eyes are darkened. She isn't sleeping very well. And yet the hair on top of her head is, um, pulled up into a, a loose bun, but it is, it is very well kept and organized. And though she's dirty, everything about her seems to be put together. She spits on the floor, um, towards the, um, towards the entrance to this cage uh, in your direction. I am no traitor. I am or was a former knight of the Soggy Court, and I do not dally with those who wish to do harm to my king. And she crosses her arms over her, over her chest, and she just stares at you. Can I insight check that? Uh, I can't hear can you I, over the fans. Sorry, can I inside check? You're gonna have to scream! <laughs> there are a lot of what? Fans. Into the mics. Uh, no, no, no. Can I inside <laughs> check Morgo? Yes, I would love for you to do that. Mm. Mm. Are we little flagged up? That's also not the way no. to do that. Stuff, right? No. You metagaming piece yeah, of no, shit. Yeah, I know, 18. What a that guy. 18? Can I, can uh, I get she, a sense of if she's truthful or not? She's, it's, I would say it's, it, with an 18, it's very easy to tell if she's truthful. Um, and you, this mirrors what the king had told you, that she was an honorable knight of the court, and that whatever had led her to help um, Sir Talavar uh, and Wigglewog with their escape must have been something very important, because... She is one of the few people of the court that he felt like he could truly trust and is part of the reason that he is feeling so much guilt about the situation she's in. Morgo, <coughs> we'd like to hear your side of the story, if you would be so kind to share. I know you just said you wouldn't speak with us, but it's very important <coughs> that we make things right here. We're trying to do not just what's best for the king and also for uh, the land and perhaps for you. Uh, we can... Uh, cook two meats with one fire, so to speak, if we all trust one another. You come, as you're saying this, you realize what? that night has fallen, and it's the perfect Stupid time of night for you, a vampire, to exist in this world. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when you say that. <laughs> Mm. Ah, as long as there's no garlic involved, I feel like we could get it together amiably. <laughs> well, he's very rude. This is actually Grumple, the Count of Bogborum. Yes, I'm I am Baron Splop, the Baron, uh, the Green Baron. You can tell by my skin I'm green. Hi. She she looks up at you and she she just she doesn't respond. How do you get mixed up in all this? She especially looks towards you, and you can see that she there is a look of derision on her face. Um, with, uh, she seems to be incredibly offended that you would come to her about Bunko. 
Well, so you know about Bunker. <laughs> Drop the Bunko you thing, like man. It. She's not into it. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't even like it a little bit, okay? I'm not saying she does, and I never said I did. <laughs> so maybe she's assuming that I'm down on the Bunko. I guess I did say that I was down on the bunko. Yeah, he but said outright I'm down I on the think bunko. It's just so hot. Our brains are scrambled. <laughs> Maybe. Where the hell's the brooch, man? Just show her the brooch. Oh. Take a look. It's I'll a brooch. It. I'll like flip it between my fingers and sort of flash the brooch that the king gave us. A nice brooch. And Listen, we, uh, uh, we actually really like the king, and we don't even look down on him a little bit for all the public masturbation he does. <laughs> and even <laughs> some of us, I, you know, I, I don't want to knock anybody's proclivities. Some of us have probably even done it ourselves. Torbeck, for sure. <laughs> oh, hey! First off, Ribble's name is Ribble, and second of all, it was only a couple times. Yeah, there you go. Ribble, I think it's even worse when that's his name. Get in. <laughs> and as you say this, you you look around at your your friends, your, your party members, and something doesn't look right about them. One of them is clearly a doppelganger in disguise, and you must determine who they are before they can betray you all. Oh fuck. <laughs> We're not making any progress here. Morgo, I'm sorry to do this to you. <laughs> hey, have you ever made that look before? What are you doing, Frosty? Just hold on. I mean, <laughs> grump. <laughs> Morgo, it's Morgo grump. turns. Yeah, I've towards... never said all the letters in anybody's she name. Looks towards so. you. Are you trying to cast a spell on me? Well played, Morgo. <laughs> <laughs> My charms did not work on her. Oh, no, that's definitely Frosty. Okay, it's somebody else. No. Oh, oh, no. Well, we ate Bunko, and we're trying to free you from your fate by doing a ruse to trick all of the gods and then let you win and kill us. Mundlemud is pretty charming. Why doesn't he take a crack at it? Oh. Uh, Great idea. Uh, pretty suspicious. Ribble, Sir you Ribble. Would say, uh, you would say something nice about me. What? Tell me something only Ribble would know. <laughs> well, Ribble already got the public masturbation <laughs> thing out there. Uh, 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 Ribble uh, has a wife named Clementine. <laughs> Nobody knows about that. It's oh, it's you, Clementine's your girlfriend, you filthy <laughs> monster. <much. laughs> I knew it. I found the matter so quick. <laughs> no, it's very serious. Clementine is Rebel's wife. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to dive into that later. That All is right. some new information, Gid. That's awful suspicious. Now yeah. you got me questioning. Oh. Oh, maybe they eloped in the five years that, uh, you know. While he's being held captive and tortured by doctors? <laughs> and have all that installed. They Crummy. Have... <laughs> as, oh as you're saying this, you begin to look around and the whole world begins to change a little bit. The colors brighten even more. This is the Feywild. <coughs> Everything's enhanced even more until it mirrors that which you've seen in a storybook. You believe you are living in a fairy tale, and everything that happens to you follows a certain narrative structure. Oh, I've seen this one before. What? Hmm? We're gonna we have to have some sort of like crazy <laughs> tournament with her, right? Oh. Yes, that's what we've been talking about. A fought, it was a fought to the death. That's what the Instagram story said. So was, I don't know if it was false advertising. <laughs> oh, yes, I saw that. Uh, what, what, a, what does crummy mean you've seen this before? No, this is... This well, is it probably so, means he's been to prison before, which is true. You know, it may or may not be true. It was alleged. <laughs> Uh, no, but not the visit to prison's not alleged. I mean, <laughs> that was real. <laughs> All the crimes we were accused <laughs> yeah. of were alleged. You know, Gita, I try not to think about those times. Yeah, that's fair. To be fair, you know, you were, you know, judged guilty by a, a jury of your peers. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we all know how this goes, right? You're basically a side character that I encounter to sort of, you know, throw a challenge in my path. And the whole point is I need to show that, you know, this is my low point now where... 
I have to pretend to be this, you know, Duke or whatever the fuck it is. Oh no, and this is you not, not a low point. <laughs> Public masturbation is a low point. Yes, we really need to get you a robe about that. <laughs> and I gotta finish my hero's journey by saving your life. Would you like that? I'd let you out of here. Roll a persuasion check at disadvantage ah. because you called her a side character. <laughs> 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 she's a bit more of like an extra. Oh. Eleven or eleven. Not bad. Uh, the truth. Nineteen. Hurts. Nice. Holy oh, shit. Oh. <clears throat> That's crazy. Well done. That's a huge. Of course, I would like to get out of here. But I'm also a knight. I took a vow. If it weren't for Wiggle Walk, I wouldn't have done what I did. But a vow of friendship is sometimes more important than a vow of knighthood to a court in disrepair. But I do hope that Gullop, the 19th, can solve some of the issues. We were friends once, before he ever had it, before I ever became king. He's a nice guy. Uh, Roll is going to destroy him. But I've done wrong. I must pay the price. It seems to be a literal, I don't know, defeatist. Very, it seems your philosophy seems to be a little bit draconian. Well, I'm not I, sure if I'm ever going to see my friend ever again. Oh. Uh, who knows you? where he's at now? What if he's in the summer court? What if he's with Titania and she doesn't like him or understand him? You know what? He is in the summer court. He was such a shy bullywug. He always needed me there. <laughs> yeah. He struggled without me. I tried to teach him the best I could about how to fly those hot air balloons. God, I hope he was able to do it. You got all the way up until the break part, huh? <laughs> What? What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Usually somebody else does the talking. I'm not very good at it. I get nervous and I'll reveal uh, things. That's exactly and... what Wiggle Walk was like. Oh. <laughs> when it was just the two of us, he could talk up a storm. Uh, we were the best of friends, got in all kinds of adventures. But then the moment someone else was there trying to talk to him, he just yeah. clammed up and he couldn't do it. But he was so smart and so full of, what's the, what's the term? Joie de vivre. Pizzazz. Oh, oh he, he sounds lovely. When can we meet him? <laughs> I'm not sure. Look, oh, you know what? Hopefully you will. I think, <laughs> I think you would like him. I can't speak for the rest. He's a little... Oh, scratchy. No, they're, they're good people. They'll grow on you. I actually think he would connect best with them. Uh, yeah, probably. In a, in a, yeah, from a certain sense. point of view. <laughs> 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 well, well, look, you know what? I think uh, at the end of the day, wherever he is, I think he's always going to be right I, here. I think he's at Titania's side right now as we speak, uh, talking up a storm to the Queen of the Fae. Well, that's highly unlikely. Either way, but not he's on the great mission. As as you say this, you develop the ability to break the fourth wall. <laughs> you are now able to start addressing the DM directly. <laughs> uh, Fuck you, Derek. <laughs> it's at this point. So. Uh, Angela, I gotta say, I think we've all had enough of Morgo. <laughs> I feel like all of us don't really know what to do in this situation. We don't know what she wants. Uh, and we'd really like to get on to Electrum Shell. <laughs> do we all hear this? Yeah. Oh, really? What's wrong? Who's Angela? Is that the name of the chinchilla? And why are you talking directly into that wall right now? Uh, <laughs> one, two, three. It's the fourth one. Four, Who five. could Splot possibly be addressing? And so I'm just going to say, is there any way you can, you know, give us a little bit of a hint? You know, <laughs> I'd like to cash in a hint, you know, a clue token, you know. Kindness. Oh, thank you. So we, we all got to be nice to... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, uh, Ribble is nice. 
What did you just do? Who have you been? How did you get that information? <laughs> Frosty was always everyone's least favorite character. <laughs> That's a hurtful thing to say. But you know what? He's my best lad. I'm standing right here. He's my best mate. I'm like looking above his head. Yeah. I'm like, uh, is it like a mosquito? Like a mosquito? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, chat has a request that every time you address the DM directly, you have to do what you just did by looking into the camera directly. <laughs> and. You know, it's, it's, and, and Torbeck was there. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, Ribble is always here. He might be able to connect with the king and their shared pension for public masturbation. <laughs> Can we stop bringing that up? It was never, I guess it was never proved in a court. And a raid is here. <laughs> What? Uh, what? What kind of raid? Uh, oh my uh, raid! God. It's uh, it's it, they're on Twitch. Where I look at the window? Oh yeah, because you can break the fourth wall. They're on Twitch, <laughs> <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of people who are new to our channel. Uh, Ribble doesn't understand any of those words in that order. Oh, no, you are some kind of a witch. doppelganger. I look at the window. Yeah, yeah. Like and so uh, you know, I would like to personally thank the raiders <laughs> uh, for joining in on this Fey Wild adventure. Um, you know, if you would like to hit the follow button, we also have a merch shop for the Patreon. <laughs> you are all standing here as Gricko is saying these what? words, these <laughs> things that mean nothing to you. For context for the Raiders, we have a uh, we have a fairy curse table um, that I randomly throw out to them for fun. And Gricko's is that he can now break the fourth <laughs> wall and speak directly to the DM. And so they are in a situation where all the party members now hear him saying this stuff. So in game. all of you people watching us are now officially in, part of our community. in our most intimate moments. Give Questlon D and D a follow. <laughs> <laughs> They're good folks. What are you talking He's about? He's been taken by madness. You've never made less sense, Gricko. <laughs> Ignore what he's saying. Look, Wigglewug, I'm sure was a swell fella. And you know what? He's out there. You made it out. And that's what you need to do. You you gotta focus on being where he is on the outside with your freedom. And look, you think that King Gullup guy's a swell fella? Well I think so too. And I'm telling you, if we don't break you out If you think that he's a swell fellow, then why did you step to my cell and speak the words of traitors? I had to make sure that you weren't one of them. The yeah. whole reason we want to get you out is so that you can protect it. Are you being truthful? Yeah. Well. Oh. Think very carefully, my, my friend. My, my plus is the same either way, so. I, but it's, if I, are you being truthful? Because it determines whether you roll deception or persuasion. I would say I'm attempting to cover up my initial question. Because I wasn't exactly sure on her philosophy on the Bunko game. But I don't think I'm necessarily trying to trick her. Well, it's, it's truthful that it was a test. Yes. <clears throat> then roll a persuasion check for me, please. Krimi always was a very good liar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's the only one in the group that has hard charisma. 23. <laughs> And so he makes a very nice leader of the party when we all decided our uh, loose backstory together that everyone always asked about in YouTube comments, confused that there was no campaign before this. Hmm. What? <laughs> it was a circus. Don't forget, a you think you're a vampire. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, yes. I'm waiting for my moment. Oh, I'm just making sure I'm... <laughs> Cross a vampire <laughs> has all the time in the world. A vampire never forgets. <laughs> I meant what? <laughs> to kill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bleha, blaha. <laughs> blah, blah. <sighs> uh, tw- was it 20? 20, 20. She seems more receptive to you as, she, as she's listening. I'm not giving up. But I did break an oath, and there is a price to pay for that. I'm not saying I want my life to end, but I do want to win the trial by combat. And I want to take my name, my rightful name, Morgo, no longer former, but current Knight of Wards. And I want to protect my king. 
Well, uh, <clears throat> I think we can make that happen. We have a plan. And if you could get on board with just one more deception, you could win, and you don't have to kill nobody. <clears throat> All it'll take is just a little bit of your blood. What? No, it's not gonna take any blood. No, no, no. Not, I mean, you might get hurt so that it looks reasonable, but you don't need blood. Frosty's acting out of character because he rolled a vampire uh, <laughs> falsehood on the what? fake. No, 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 no. That's not. Uh, <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm what sorry, you... a vampire falsehood on a fey table? Yes, yes. Well, what's a roll? Uh, mimicking the great vampires such as uh, Dracula. Who's Dracula? Uh, Dracula. Uh, Dracula and Nicolas Cage <laughs> as Dracula. <laughs> and it's a delicious addition to any dinner meal. Isn't Nicholas Cage also in that new like vampire <laughs> yeah, movie? He's Dracula. Oh, Dracula. Dracula. He's Dracula. Oh. He's Dracula. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit. It's it's modern humor, referencing a film that is currently in the process of coming out or not. I'm not quite sure. A film like a sticky substance that gets on you. Uh... Uh, Frosty, you'll never understand. I feel like he's got a direct tap into where whatever that, affects us from time to time. Where did that flamboyant hat come from? Oh, I got it as a merch from MAGFest. <laughs> it's a wonderful oh music and gaming festival in the Washington, D.C. area. <laughs> in the beginning of January, not the equivalent of January. <laughs> We've completely lost him! <laughs> if he could, ignore all the fucking nonsense that they're spewing, all right? Just try to focus on me, okay? <laughs> now, 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 look, can you, if you could accept that, you could be the Lord Commander of the King's Guard. And you can make sure that nothing happens to King Go, so that he actually has a reign longer than two fucking days. And that is my plan. Once they have find, found someone to challenge me in a trial by combat, I will win. <clears throat> and I will take up my spot as a free woman and as a loyal knight to my king. Well, <clears throat> would you believe me if I said that the uh, goblin spouting fucking nonsense is the one that wants to challenge you? Has he committed a crime? Well, no. <laughs> From a certain point of view, we've all committed terrible crimes. <laughs> what I worry about as I listen to the sad exchange is that she doesn't realize that she was written as a cautionary tale against the dangers of oaths of honor and how backwards such philosophies were at the time, the writers of Wizards of the Coast, when they wrote this module and invented her uh, from their brains. Uh, <clears throat> wanted she to have her as a critical part. She picks up swamp water and she <clears throat> hurls it at you. Pocket swamp! Oh. And you immediately feel this curse uh, <laughs> cleansed from you. In in this uh, very not thinly veiled uh, an uh, analogy to the French Revolution. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my! Oh, all of this is wow. causing rebel distress. Oh, I finally! Oh, I forgot to take my bananas. <laughs> oh, it's scurvy chinchilla! No, <laughs> scurvy chinchilla! <laughs> oh, this red, where are you? Uh, can you roll another D twenty for me? <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Kremi, see if you can negotiate a few ounces of her blood in all of this. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be forced to turn you into one of my thralls. Oh, that, I missed the opportunity. I'm going to rewind and say, man, that's a great reference to the television series King of the Hill. <laughs> and as, as, the, as the pocket swamp hits your face, you realize that you have been having these horrible hallucinations of a world devoid of magic and color. <laughs> As you come to in Gricko's body, but with a voice in the back of your mind, a voice from the depths of hell, a voice you know all too well. And just as you feel yourself coming to, that voice pulls you down deeper into your mind and takes its rightful place as the commander of Gricko's body. Chuckles rises again. Oh no. It's two, two is clouds. We all know two is clouds. Uh, uh, the, the... Oh, I'm back so soon. What oh, are we doing, God. fellas? Oh, the swamp water. Why did you do that? Look, do you know what you've done? He was speaking 
gibberish. I, th I just, I thought maybe sometimes, you know, when, when you startle someone, it gets rid of the hiccups. And so I thought maybe it would get rid of his brain hiccups. We're gonna miss the nonsense. Oh, swamp water, swamp water. I gotta write that down and activating, you know, when it happened so recently, I thought that we need to let it, you know, pause a little bit. Uh, but great, what are we doing, fella? The interrogating with frog? If you need someone to torture, I'm very good at that. No, we're on the brink of negotiating a deal to uh, uh, allow her to uh, live with honor and, and free her from this jail, uh, ch ch chuckle. Well, honor is a currency traded by fools. And I should know I'm the king of fools. <laughs> Say, you wouldn't have any blood on you, would you, Chuckle? Oh. Oh, no. Well, I can see. Why don't you give it a little puncture? No, oh, don't mind if I do. It is horrible, dry, desiccated, like dusty, undead clap flash. It's actually Gricko's body. Yeah. You're just inhabiting it. Oh, don't I like, transform a little bit? Don't you I do, yeah. but it's still Gricko's body. So though that's what it may look oh. like, it is actual blood, and you can you can. Feel the warmth. I mean, it's a tiger better. biting my life. hand. <laughs> Ribble is completely just freaked out. A lot of screaming. Like, oh, oh, thank you, you watch as Frost's face is completely <laughs> caked and coated in Gricko's <laughs> Oh, I didn't know it would do that. Well, you know, if it does happen to be demonic clown icor, mm. uh, you may experience some changes <laughs> to your body, but we'll have that conversation when you're a little older. Grumbler, no! <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to feed. Goblin blood is not particularly to my taste, but it will satiate me for now. I'm sorry to tell you this, but my name is not Frost, it's... Grumbler. Are you doing a Dracula name generator? Sorf. <laughs> to surf. <laughs> to surf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it a posh in there? Is that the best you can do? It's Give like Alucard, it's frost backwards. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it. You know, given your penchant for breakfast, I would have thought you would have just said Count Chocula. Oh, shit. Well, what a missed opportunity. I hiss and fly away. <laughs> he just comes out the yeah, yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding my cape. Man, uh, like a... sorry you hadn't seen that. This fella's really cringe. <laughs> to sort of uh, exits the building and uh, seeks additional victim. <coughs> we hear the, the screams guards of are the right guards from the, other, from the other room. Oh, yeah. Do they look expendable? <laughs> kind of. Hey, friends. <laughs> I cast friends on them, and we start having a conversation. Okay, how does that work? Oh, they're... They we're we're going to cut scene, and we're going to go to this. <laughs> well, a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Frost walks up covered in blood and puts his arms around both guards, like so, and just is like, hello, how's it going? Yeah, uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, yes. Yeah, and that's what disposable guard number one here. <laughs> Why are you covered in blood? Uh, it doesn't matter to you. I, uh... <laughs> or adult for much if you could just, uh, as a good friend, present your neck to me. Uh, <laughs> I was a very good friend. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing to Carl? Carl's just fine. <laughs> Don't worry about Carl. You're right. I'm not worried about Carl. Carl looks uh. fine. <laughs> Right. Republic credits will be fine. <laughs> so Frost kills two innocent guards and, and drains them of their blood. And in the meantime, the four of you... <laughs> oh, I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh, is it kind of like, was that my fault? Is it kind of like Pringle that once you once you pop, you just can't stop? Did I break the seal, so to speak? <laughs>
This prison's really starting to feel like prison. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone playing a fucking. <laughs> oh, hey, Gideon, shake my hand. I didn't no, know. No, I won't touch you. Oh. oh, God. Come on, you owe me. You thought it killed me. You man slaughtered me in, in lukewarm blood. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long I've been waiting to do that? You are just the worst clown! Oh gosh, I'm glad that I have the body of Gricko as a hostage, so to speak. Oh, so you can't man. really turn your arm of your might or magic against me. The joke is on you, clown. I've killed Gricko three times, one canonically, okay? And on camera. <laughs> oh, well, I don't think you have the spell that breaks the fourth wall, so it's a little improper of you to even suggest that. You're right, I'm sorry. I have multiple times punched and need Greco to the point of death. So you having him is like the most expendable of our party. Well, I hope you say that to him to his face. It's nah, very we, hurtful. You're nah, quite we, a bad friend. No, nah, he doesn't take things like that very well. He gets yeah. really emotional. I might cry. Man, those guards really aren't struggling at all. <laughs> I mean, oh. What? Oh, do you hear the cracking? Oh. <laughs> Man, Froth is really going to town. So here's the thing. <laughs> Get, just because he's get Bricko doesn't mean you can't punch him, right? Just don't like kill him. Yeah, you can still punch him in the body. Oh, okay. I can. I feel face. good about this. Yeah, yeah. Right? either okay. way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a little little round two. What do you think? No. <laughs> do you want to do that, Gideon? Do I want to do it? Oh, yeah. I dare you. No, I don't. I double dog dare you, I motherfucker. Punch I punch him. I punch him as hard as I can. As hard as I can. I'm going. I'm going Roll to, to attack. Att oh. I'm going to attempt to literally. Uh, with my sticky squeakers, just complete matrix back and just bend over backwards like a cartoon <laughs> character to dodge him. I don't know if Chuckles has any like crazy demonic clown powers, you but twist it? You, you, you can't miss. Uh, I will twist of dread that. Oh, all right. Well, it's a so small. you can roll it again. Roll it again. What? I want you to hit. Oh, though. so I'm oh, dreading. All right, I'll roll my. <clears throat> Twenty-three. Well, luckily I cast shield. <laughs> Does Gricko have shield? No. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You attempt to, and then. <laughs> oh! My clown balloon covering. <laughs> oh! Uh, okay, yeah. Roll for damage. Let me get Gricko's character sheet up. <laughs> Uh, nine points of punching damage. Oh! <laughs> and I, I nine puke, points of punching damage. I puke up a bunch of colorful circus peanuts. It <laughs> <laughs> just sprays you. Oh! Oh! The slimy. Oh! Oh man! I haven't felt anything like that in so long. Since the last time. Oh, since the last time. Well, no, I was in a bit of a stupor thanks to the whiskey sours. <laughs> Thoughts. I thought you smelled a little funny. Well, all of this madness is happening in the inside. You are <coughs> you are now crouched down in the muck of the swamp. You are covered in the blood of three people. Your best friend, Gricko, and the two guards, Carl and unnamed guard number two. Um, unnamed guard number two, no. Their bodies are slowly sinking into the mire of the swamp, and you imagine Master. that given a certain amount of time, their bodies will disappear forever, and Master. no one will have noticed that they had ever sink. lived. Sink now, sink now, sink now, sink now. As you, as you listen to the sounds of the swamp with your perceived heightened sense, senses, and you hear a splooshing sound. <laughs> I look for the sploosh. Roll a perception check. Oh. Uh, that's a d30. I will not be rolling that. You made a critical miscalculation. You're supposed to puncture the bodies a few times before you throw them. I, in I the already punctured them once. I figured. <laughs> more. More. They float otherwise. <laughs> mm, perception. Let's go with a 12. You 
definitely know what direction this is coming in. It sounds like feet stepping into the muck and then the, the suction sound as they pull themselves out of the the um, the liquid <clears throat> stuff. It's 88 degrees in here, I'm <laughs> and they, 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 Based on the sounds of that liquid stuff, they're going to be here any minute. <laughs> to source as better evaporate. <laughs> And you, you look at yourself. You are clearly invisible now. You're mist in the swamp. As you look forward, you hear the sound getting closer and closer. You hone your eyes in, waiting for the silhouette to appear before you eventually hear immediately behind you, Frost, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! Twig! Yeah? How can you see me? What do you mean? You're standing right there. I'm missed. Why are you covered in blood? I missed no you too, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 good, it's good that you're here. Uh, uh, all the this is other people's blood. It's not my blood. <laughs> Did you get in a fight? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> You look emotionally broken. You Twig. look like a damaged man. Wait, can you have a? You uh, look anchor. like a man on the edge. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. What? What happened? And she she reaches into her acorn bag and she pulls out which was probably a tablecloth from one of the tables, but in her hand, and this size looks like a a, a napkin <clears throat> of some sort, and she starts to dab the blood off of your body. Oh, thank you. I'll help clean you up. I, I'm not sure how you were able to see me. I Where's thought I... everybody else? Are they dead? No, no, they're talking to Morgo inside of the prison. Who's Morgo? Oh, Morgo is the former Knight of Warts. She's That's been cool. wrongly imprisoned, and we're endeavoring to negotiate for think... her escape and also some of her blood. Do you think she knows where I could get a supply of specific type of frog? Maybe? Oh. Being the Knight of Warts? Why would you be interested in frogs? You know, for licking purposes. Hmm. You know, insects and other critters are very adjacent to frogs. <laughs> Would you be interested in perhaps consuming them and being my servant forever? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, kind of to both. Okay, I think we have a deal. You okay. have very little blood, so this is a perfect relationship. I do have very little blood. I cut myself <clears throat> once, I'm not even get a scab or anything. Okay, you cannot reveal our secret to anyone. It's just you and me, Count Sorf, yeah. and Twig. That's that's me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's Wait, get. <laughs> why are you calling yourself Count Sorf? Oh, uh, well, that's our secret. Uh, most people will call me Count Grumple, but in reality, <laughs> I'm a. Uh... Wait, hold on. Why would most people call you Count Grumple? <laughs> because that's what the king renamed me when he gave me. He gave <gasps> you me a... had the king. An entire ca oh yes yes yes. You got a cool king name. And a county, I have a whole county to my name. <laughs> How come I wasn't there? You were talking to the pumpkin-headed child. Damn it! <laughs> it's all right. You're my servant. You can run the county. You're gonna well, be the right cool hand of, of Count Sorf. Can I have a cool servant name then? Um, Wigfield. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, twig of the field. I like it. Twig field. All okay. right, but don't don't tell anybody this. It's very important. But why do I have a cool name if I can't tell anybody? And because that makes it even cooler that it's our, it's our secret. Oh. Now, uh, do you have a a log or something heavy? Um, maybe roll a d one hundred. Our first task is to get rid of these bodies. <laughs> 54. 54? <laughs> mm, my first um, order of business. Um, no, I don't have a log. But I have this cool candle that can never be lit. Oh, neat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, keep it on my sill and look out into the night gloomily for centuries on end. Okay. Did this did Twig feel disappoint Count Sorf. 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 
Surf. Surf. Say it, it, it should strike fear in the hearts of those who hear it. Even me? No, no, no. You're my servant. Okay. You, you, you're just, you just always do my bidding, and okay. you eat insects. Okay. And you help me hide these bodies. The ones that are... Wait! Where'd those bodies come from? It's not important. <laughs> servant, now go. <laughs> and as this is happening, you guys are in front of Morgo. <laughs> <laughs> I like to with uh with with the crusher feet. I'd like to uh punch Chuckles with an uppercut to the body five feet up into the air and have him float down. <laughs> and I will uh, fl- I'll, I'll fly up and I'll float down like um uh, like, like a, a balloon with like the a air let out. Of. Like a, yeah, I'll. I'll <gasps> And there will literally be uh, flying canaries and stars circling circling around my head. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> I know Karemi said that the peanuts were slimy, but it's way funnier to me if they're dry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, they're literally just surface peanuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's just yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, first one's free, Gibby. <clears throat> Why don't you guys, like, rumble outside, you know, have, like, a, like fisticuffs? Well, if I have fisticuffs with him, he's gonna die. I can't kill oh, Rico. You know what's funny, Gideon? <sighs> and I'll blow my hands up really huge. That's exactly what a bitch would say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, right I didn't want to do it. I was going to spare Grigo this time. I don't even care that you're riding his body, okay? When you run outside, I'll bury you in the swamp, you goddamn clown. Oh, this cannon, wow. Ribble, I need you to go out there and supervise. Make sure nobody dies. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, Torbeck will chase after the two of them outside to like make sure nobody dies. Um, which there are two outsides. Wherever there they're is, going, there is the way that you came, which is the yes. way Frost went. But this place doesn't have doors in the same way that other places would. And you can see that directly behind this, there is the circular proving grounds where the battles yes. to the death take yes, place. The arena. I'm clouded by rage. I'm in the <laughs> arena. Yeah. I'll be drawn naturally to the arena. You decide in this moment, you will have your revenge on this clown. This clown that has haunted you through the entirety of the carnival and continues to take hold of your friend Gricko's body, forcing you, forcing your hand to harm someone you care about because of his ex- his mere existence. And more importantly, he shocked my hand with a stupid toy. <laughs> <laughs> I caught wheel out of the room with my toy. And each time my, my foot lands, it's a squeak. So it's squeak, it's squeak, it's squeak. Amazing. And you make your way towards the proving grounds. A mangrove tree stands in the middle of a patch of heavily churned mud where rusting and rotting bits of armor and weapons are scattered. Two lengths of chain are anchored to opposite sides of the tree trunk, each with an iron shackle on the end. But you're not prisoners. You have no need of those shackles, yet. As you find yourselves in the middle of this circular proving ground, there are rusted pieces of armor and weapons all over. Looking at these, Gideon, this is is (coughs) fodder for the fight, should you need it. As you and Chuckles stand face to face for the first time in life and death, able to truly fight. Uh, mumble, mumble, mud. No, no, Gideon, please, this is important. Don't hurt him. Uh, did you hear what he said to me? He called me a bitch. Yeah, I'm Ribble hurt him. Sorry to pretend like he didn't hear it, but this is serious. It's still Gricko. Well, hey, listen, I'll just hit him so hard he just dies, kinda, and then we'll revive him a little bit. Oh, just. 
Just think this through. Gideon can be the bigger person. I'm literally the bigger person from him. I don't see what you're trying to get me to do. I'm going to slap him so hard. The chalk's going to come right off his goddamn stupid clown face. I'm going to get Gringo back one way or another. Front hand, back hand, it doesn't matter. He's coming back in the next 12 seconds. That's how many rounds it's going to take. For the purpose of this, because Chuckles doesn't really have a stat block, um, in this campaign. I can use Gringo's. No, I'm no, happy. no, no. I think it, it will be much more fun if Chuckles can do Chuckles-themed things. And so... Well, we have the other one. We have a Chuckles. Yeah, no. I want to do it this way. Okay, and I'm no. the DM. <laughs> That's right. Um, how this will work is <laughs> we will roll for initiative. One of you will obviously go first. That person will say what they're going to do using the arena and things that would be um, in character to their... Even if it's not something on your... your your spell sheet. It could just be like, I'm going to take this armor, I'm going to charge it up with flame, and I'm going to do this crazy stuff. Cool. You will roll a d20 contest. Whoever wins that d20, if, if Chuckles wins it, it misses. If you win it, it hits. Does that make sense? Uh, sure. With yeah. No, and then no that way Chuckles can do weird, like, balloon clown disproportionate body things. <laughs> yeah? Fine by me. So it's a battle of the D20s. Bond by me. You square up. <clears throat> Torbeck, Ribble, is standing there at Kremi's at Kremi's discretion, um, guarding his friends, unsure of what to do in this moment, as the two of you um, stand opposite each other in this circular arena. Gideon, you stare down at Chuckle's body. The body of this desiccated dead clown thing. And you know that somewhere in there is Gricko, your friend. But in this moment, all you can see is Chuckles. Chuckles, you stare at your arch nemesis, Gideon. This is the man that punched you so hard in the body that you went to hell. I will. And, and Chuckles, <laughs> there really is no wine in hell. <laughs> I will never forgive that flight. As I finish, <laughs> as Kurt wheeling out, and I'll do a little a few uh, a few uh, yeah. uh, figure eights. I'll then stand and I'll write myself, and my uh, my hips will get my legs will like bow out like a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, like the, this, like a uh, goofy like toy ray gun will appear on my uh, on my hip, and it'll be and it's out of nowhere. You'll hear. <laughs> And it's also it's by it's all it's clown horns, <laughs> and I'll, I'll I'll have my my hands are still giant as I'm just holding it. Okay, Gideon, how is this going to end? These are Mortal Kombat entrances. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> I square off against him, uh, walk up, meet him face to face, and I uh, my gauntlets start to come to life. The the fire starts to tick up around me. Uh, only for it to then just cut back because I'm out of resources. Uh, oh, Your resources fuck. don't matter for the sake of this. I am igniting the flame. <laughs> uh, Would you say that you get a little heated? Oh, yeah. Because it's hot in here? Yeah. Oh, it's hot in here. Yeah. And may you both roll for initiative. Uh, Ooh. Do I get? Do I use Gricko's initiative or what? Um, Use Chuckle's initiative. Oh. Are we... So are you using- You'll using your actual initiative, but then going forward, we're not using any of your stuff. We're just gonna. <laughs> this is just going to be a fun. Um, oh, I think. Fuck. I think I'm yeah. Fifteen. <sighs> he goes. <I'm> <laughs> you you swear up, and you are so excited to finally take down Chuckles for oh, hopefully man. the final time. <clears throat> but Chuckles surprises you. As he pulls out a ray gun. A, a gun? What's a gun in a Vantress? Hey, what's that? Oh, he's you are caught off guard. He has the fastest finger in the West. <laughs> hey, Gideon. Yeah? I was walking from the carnival to the farm, and out from the bush, three pigs jumped me and devoured my flesh. <laughs> It's a pretty good story so far. Keep going. It was a ham bush. <laughs> and I pulled the trigger. <laughs> and that is where we will break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh. You now stand alone. 
sorry, carrot. <clears throat> you now stand alone in the in the cell or in this in the jail, staring into the cell where Morgo is leaning up against the the wall, and she looks completely flabbergasted. Everything that's happened here, she has seen many things in her time in the Feywild, but nothing compares to whatever the hell this has been for this past period of time. You can hear the sounds of Frost speaking out into the ether, unsure of what he's saying or who he could possibly be talking to. And you can now hear the sounds of combat and Sue, and you can only hope that your, that your pal Torbeck can keep the clown and the Genasi in check for long enough for you, <laughs> for you to get out of this situation. But for this moment, there is some peace and quiet. And as your emotions calm down, you feel that fake curse leave you. And you find that you are truly cremy again. Is there a chair in here? Yes. <laughs> I'll drag the chair out. I'll take my jacket off. I'll put it on the bed. It does that like scratchy thing. That I'll was my, my best uh, scratchy mm. chair noise. And I'll spin it around and I'll sit on it sort of backwards mm. and I'll sort of have my arms. <sighs> so look, Morgo. <clears throat> I'm gonna officially apologize for whatever, whatever the fuck all that was. <laughs> um, but I feel like we were getting somewhere. You understand? I feel like we understand each other. Regardless of the madness, regardless of all the goofy bullshit, I think you get what I'm saying. The Feywild can be one hell of a place. I've seen my fair share of Fey shenanigans. Nothing quite like this. No, oh, yeah. But your friend was packing quite a lot of witch light. Yeah, sometimes we get hit with like a cloud of drugs in the air or something. I think it's unique to us somehow. I don't know, fate or some other kind of fairy tale bullshit. <laughs> I think regardless, that's all outside now. Now it's just you and me. I can get you out of that cell. I can get you well, in a position. I've thought of a phenomenal idea if what is happening out in the Proving Grounds is what I think is happening out in the Proving Grounds. This is like a plan related to just me sending them outside because <gasps> I was sick of listening to them? Yes. Go on. <laughs> you said that that thing that took over your friend, his body changed. Yeah. The entity that he became. Yeah, he's a undead He was clown. punished for something? A criminal? I mean, he was sort of just a a in gross, loose terms. Yeah, he was sort of a, just a gross fella. You know, it's really unclear, actually. <laughs> you know, how many backstories can one clown have? <laughs> I don't have to fight for myself in the trial by combat. No. Oh. If I had someone willing to stand as my champion, and if this entity is a bad dude. Oh, yeah, no, he's a bad dude. And your friend willing to fight in my stead with witnesses obviously as long as they don't kill themselves before the plan <laughs> comes to fruition as long as there were witnesses about maybe the guards out front <laughs> if they could see that's a great idea that <laughs> my champion had bested this cur if he were, if he were to win i would be set free Wait, so we can just handle it right now? Yes. And all I gotta do is get the two guards standing right out front. <laughs> yes. And I'll get them as witnesses. And then when when and then Greco they just... can release me from this cage. Well, one quick caveat is that does... But make sure you get those two guards, for they're the only ones with the magical key that can unlock this cage. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that sounds... I mean, that's a great plan. <laughs> Wait, well, here's the thing. Like, is, this is just the one catch, is that Gid can actually kill the clown because... He's like sort of transmogrified into the clown that attacked the offering and great friend, Brico. And it may just be because I'm quite smart. Mm -hmm. As long as he doesn't kill the body, he kills the clown within the body. Then he'll turn back to Grico. Then he's still killing the clown, but not killing his friend. Oh my god. We just need to make sure that we get those guards. Yeah, he's gonna make quick work out yes. work out of him, so I better go. Yes. <laughs> I'll be right back. And I All right, out. I'll be right here. I open the door. 
<laughs> you you open the door, and what you see is uh, Twig. Twig and I are walking towards the entrance that we that I initially came out and grabbed the guards up. Twig is covered in <laughs> yeah. Muck. I'm I'm po- uh, uh, wiping the mud off of myself, and uh, uh, well done, Twigfield. I don't think we could find those bodies, <laughs> even if we ourselves went back looking for them. You're very talented at this. Now remember to keep quiet. <laughs> We like being your servant, master, master. It's my pleasure. Uh, it's important that we keep it a secret. Do not mention this to anyone, even our good friends. My lips are sealed. If I had a magical key that could only lock one thing, I would seal my lips with it and throw it away. Well done. Into the muck, never oh, to be found again. Here comes Krimi. Oh, okay. How much of that do I Hi, hear? Hi, Krimi. Hello, Krimi. Everything is well. How are you? Everything's great, Krimi. Hi. Twig! I look at Twig. I look at Frost. We're the gods. <laughs> what Covered gods? in blood. They seem to have uh, 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 disappeared. I came out here and they, they were gone. Yeah, they must have had a changing of the guards without actually bringing new guards. Yes, uh, when, 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 once they stop working, they just get up and, and go. I think it's a union thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, if it's a union thing, well, wouldn't their buddy be right here and uh, for the fucking second shift? Ooh, perhaps they're uh, feeling under the weather, but those yeah. guards, they won't work the another minute. Unions work different than unions you're probably used to, right? Bo- both of, yeah, yes, yes, both yes. of them. She winks, under the weather. she winks very obviously at you. Her glasses that um, amplify her eyeballs make it very clear. <laughs> <laughs> mm. At the same time of day, for the same shift. Uh, it surprised me as well. I came out here to make sure that they were protecting the prison. Yeah, and then I showed up. And then Dwee came. <laughs> and she uh, watched uh, the guards walk away, and we we just stood there until you arrived. Uh, we decided to get a little money for some reason. I, I slipped and fell Oh, inside. yes, we slipped. We slipped and fell Do into, I see the, blood? into the swamp. All over Frost. <laughs> All over. It's like a beer. Oh, no. <laughs> it's Kate and Maddie. You see bits of flesh stuck to his to his fur. Look, I know you were lop, 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 like playing pretend lopping earlier. Mm-hmm. You know, as a Dracula, yes. whatever. And I don't know what that is. I, I for some reason I was compelled to bite Grico's palm, but that's that's over now. Yeah, but that didn't happen when you. Big Rico's oh, just you, you fucking just... tell me that's Clamato juice. It's Clamato juice. <laughs> can I do proceed? You some, <laughs> do you want some Clamato juice? I can get it mm. out of my acorn house. Can I uh, perceive if uh, yeah. Twig and Frost are oh, yeah. being truthful? Uh, can I attempt to deceive? Of course. All right, that's very good. Twig exciting. is also going to, but at disadvantage because she's Twig. 19. Pretty good Three. roll. <clears throat> That's less than a good roll. <laughs> Twenty. Oh! I look around immediately. Okay, Frost. Mm-hmm. Fucking level with me. You kill those guards. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I did not. Why would I do that? I'm not a killer. Where do you have the bodies? <laughs> There, they, they, there are no bodies. They walked out, and they, uh, uh, uh they, they, they walked on, away from their shift, from their yeah! duty. They definitely weren't seeking into the muck. And when I showed up, Sorf told me to go over and start pushing them down into the deep depths of the muck to never be found again. No, 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 no that none would of be that. ridiculous. Nothing like that. that would be that's outrageous. He <laughs> even, even accused. I'm, I'm ashamed in you, Kremi. Yeah. <laughs> Did you poke holes in the bodies? She thought of that idea. It was really right. I mean, no, 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 no. No, of course they didn't, because that would be something only a cold or a killer would think of. And neither one of us are like that. Only someone who is really great and talented at yeah. hiding bodies would be able to yeah. think of something like that. Yeah, I'm not. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, first we got to clean you up, and I'm going to snap my fingers and all the blood's gone. Okay, next. Oh, thank you. You got to take me to the bodies. Those gods have the magical key. It's the only way to get Morgo out. And then, then we finally, we need a fucking witness. It's going down now. 
Let's just say hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> that they walked into the swamp and into some branches that poked holes in them and then they fell into the water <laughs> and then they sank to the bottom of the water. I'm not sure we would be able to tell you where they poked themselves. Look, and I'm, fell. I'm not trying to trick you, Frost. I'm look, I'm 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 your friend right now, okay? Mm -hmm. And mm. it's nothing you didn't do anything wrong until the jury convicts you in court, all right? <laughs> Everything's alleged what you did. Okay. I just need the key. You understand? <laughs> Wigfield think we need to we need to try and remember where where was where, where were we just now where, it was uh, it, it, we were walking for perhaps uh, one or one or two minutes <laughs> this is so bad um, there <laughs> both of them on the ground right there yep you just told me that uh, you sank them to the bottom to the bottom of some body of water. No. You're all right. You're all right. Oh. I'm going to see if I can go into my mind palace and retrace the steps. Okay. It was, everything was I was I was quite blood high at the time, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to endeavor to see if I can retrace the path in my mind, even okay. though I had been actively working to file that away. <laughs> in roll a... a survival check at disadvantage. Uh, I'm going to use the tiniest d20 that I have. And the biggest. Oh! Survival? Back, I would like you to roll a d20 for me, please. Oh, it's Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use my new one. <laughs> Oh! A ribble got a 19! <laughs> nice. When it leaves town! We're rolling hot in here. Um, 13. You, uh, you gain one free natural 20. This is Ribble's lucky day! <laughs> Damn. You can use it on yourself or someone else. Hooray! I got a 13. <laughs> no. No, 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 do whatever you want. No, 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 for something better. Save it for something better. We'll, we'll, we'll find these fucking bodies. Um, where Twig's pointing mm -hmm. looks about right. Oh, okay. Uh, perhaps this is the right direction. Just, uh, I'm gonna have to get dirty again. I'm gonna start walking in. This is probably gonna take us, like, 15 minutes or so. Maybe even longer. Um, so, you know, you're welcome to hang out with us, uh, if you want, but... No, I'm, I'm coming with you. Make sure we get the fucking key. Y'all just allegedly murdered two guards, you understand? <laughs> Employees uh, of the government. I would say, because you just had the conversation, you remember that if you don't get a witness to the event, if they kill each other before a witness is present, the key won't matter. Well. <clears throat> Dornbeck remembered. <laughs> Ribble remembered. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I found it. This, this is definitely a body. <laughs> Oh, wrong body. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't know who that was. All but... right, all right. Fine, fine. Look, my brain's telling me, you guys find the key. Yeah. I'll go find a witness. Hey. You understand? Yep. Can I trust you? Yes. You're not going to forget? Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 I'm full. I'm full of blood. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> Just don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Grammy. Yeah, and you can't tell anyone that my name is Twigfield. It's a secret. You know, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's not important. All right, find the key. We'll, I'll we'll be right back. Find the key? the key? But we don't need to... Oh, wait, they, they're dead. They can't no, witness anything. Fucking leave the body. No, no. <laughs> Just the key okay. on the body. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm confused. I'm a little blood high. And we, and we don't know which one had the key. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll find the key. I'll find the key. You gotta find both bodies to make sure you find the right fucking key. If I pull every key out, all every the key keys, there, all the keys, all, all of them. One I mean, of them's the, magic. The body I just found had a key on it. Should I grab that? <laughs> yeah, because we can. We can always take it back to Jingle Jangle. Oh, even if we can't find it here, here, look. I'm not gonna endorse you looting them from the fucking dead guy, so you do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> a lot to do, and I, uh, I'll turn and I'll just start like looking around to see. If I can find anybody that looks either like a guard, a soldier, even like a like a noble or like Rococo. Roll a perception check. Rococo. Oh, that's probably pretty good. Uh, perception is uh, 17. You look around and it, there are no guards out and about, but this place is fairly close to the palace of so- the soggy, the palace of the soggy court. And you eventually spy just off to the edges of the tree line, uh, up against a mangrove, uh, mangrove roots, flitting around these two bodies are uh, lightning bugs. And you see the swirling of a parasol as clearly uh, two bullywugs are out on a date. And as you walk closer, you hear, I love you so much, honey. <laughs> You're just the sweetest little peach I ever saw. Oh, you don't mean it, do you? Jesus. Love Perfect. That. <laughs> I'm so glad we came out here away from prying eyes. I'll uh, have my cane out and I'll walk up and I'll sort of like pretend to walk by and be like, what to do there, Monsieur or Mademoiselle? Oh no, I'm not fully covered. <laughs> My indecency don't tell no one. Well, you know, I I wasn't gonna say anything anyway, but now that you mention it, uh, how about a little exchange? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess <laughs> she starts to walk towards you. How about a little frill? What do you what is it? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm so sorry, Herder, but if he tells the king, I'll be killed. I'm, I'm not gonna be killed. I just wanna spice up your first day. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, well, no, no. We, it's like we a, gotta go. It's just funny when I'm watching. Have you seen House Bunny? It's like the scene with the cop at the beginning. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. No, no, no. No, I mean, get dressed, and then uh, we're gonna go watch a combat to the dead. Doesn't that sound fun? Oh. Oh, what? Oh. She's, oh, no, she's, oh, she's, no, 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 what, what about you, fella? You want to come? <laughs> he's just standing there. He's got his, he's got his hat on his chest. There are tears streaming down his face. Uh, look, I'm, I'm awfully sorry about the misunderstanding. I just think it'll be fun if you can watch a guy punch a clown to, 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 to death. Doesn't that sound fun? Immediately they both smile and start nodding. Yeah, yeah. You hate clowns too? Let's go. Come on. And they grab your hands and the three of you skip towards the... So yeah, I will... <laughs> the <laughs> the spins is. upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my Ooh. god. I'm so sorry for that fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna last. Tag it does. Us <laughs> <with this. laughs> Tag. <laughs> Look, if you've seen House Bunny, you get it. It's one uh, of the happy 50th scenes. anniversary, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try anything to keep the relationship alive. <laughs> Jesus. We go to the arena. You have found people to watch the um, uh, to watch this fight, and as you're walking back, um, I believe I named him Harold. But if I didn't, his name's Harold now. No, he yeah, he was Harold. Harold? No, it was yeah. Hubert. No, it was well, Harold. Herbert. 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 His name yeah. was Herbert. It's too hot in here. Um, it is too hot in here. Um, I know something like Herbert, his name's Nelly. Herbert stops you for a minute, kisses um, his lady love on the cheek, and rushes off on a side path, and comes back with five more bullywugs. 
Oh yeah, tell all your friends. And as you continue to move, um, they'll randomly run off in a direction and come back with more. By the time you get back to the arena, you have 50 bullywugs in tow, oh all God. dressed in um, various um, various degrees of Rococo garb, but all of them clearly members of the Soggy Court, as they begin to um, fill the, um, the stands. And um, you see that it has caught the notice of some of the people that worked here that you didn't even realize were in the back because I didn't think about it at the time, but they're there now uh, because we need circus peanuts and we need hot dogs and we need everything that you would get at something like this. And so they're all here. They've Come with all, me, all, all flow, join me. <laughs> and um, Come along, any of you government officials. If so, raise your hand. I'm like the Pied Piper of Bollywood. I'm like that fox from Pinocchio. <laughs> and, and within, Honest John. And within 10 to 15 minutes, the, the stadium is filled. Torbeck, you have been outfitted with a referee uniform. You've got a whistle hanging mm-hmm. around your neck. You've got a cap on, mm-hmm. and you're wearing a, a striped shirt. And uh, you're not quite sure what you're supposed to do with this mm-hmm. or what your expectations are, but you are now seen to be in some sort of position of power. Kremi, you're gifted a, um, a magical, uh, let's say a magical conch shell. Um, from the uh, Court of Coral that when spoken into amplifies your voice and allows you to speak to the crowd as a whole and you're told to hold off until it's time for the um, for the event to start and somehow through all of this Gideon and Kremi or Gideon and Chuckles have not destroyed each other yet they're just staring at each other squaring off getting ready to to engage in a delicious combat. Um, <laughs> Ambush. Great. <laughs> Great joke. For 15 minutes I've been laughing. But all oh, the while... It is hideous laughter. Um, the event is... Everyone has begun to settle down. Um, the Bullywugs have their hot dogs and their peanuts and their drinks. Uh, everybody's excited and a, a hush begins to fall over the crowd as people begin to look out. Is it going to stop? Do you think that they're going to fight? Oh, will there be blood? I don't know about who, but I just want to see someone killed. Are they all, all huddled together in the middle. You okay, are so in the arena? No, so the four of you are huddled together in the, in the arena. Uh, the two of you are focused directly on each other. You've got a clown gun in your face, but the two of you could easily have a quick conversation before you begin the event. Wait. You and Torbeck. I mean, just. Yeah, it's just you two. All right, what's going on? Oh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, (laughs) Ogilvy. I'm really worried that Gideon's going to kill Gricko accidentally. Well, here's the thing. You got to make sure that he beats him up until it looks like Chuckles dies. You understand? That's your job. Oh, okay. Ready? No, but here we go. Froggies and toe people! I'm gonna be talking into the uh into the cock show. Uh, cock show. uh are you ready to see a bloodbath? Woo! Yeah! Kevin! Are you ready to see something you ain't never seen before? Yes! Woo! Kill them! Do you all count as witnesses? If so, <laughs> cheer! We count as witnesses. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah! <laughs> Kill them! Woo! That's legally binding! <laughs> and begin! I, blow, I immediately blow the whistle as soon as Kremi yells begin. <laughs> Ambush! <laughs> We've been standing here for three hours. Yeah, what that thing supposed to do? He's been pointing at me for for forever. Uh, it'll it'll be like this very uh, it's a strange looking contraption that looks like a gun, but it it has like this dark. It looks clown and circus like, but it almost has like this dark shadowy uh, nature to it. And as I pull the trigger, I forget what we rolled of this, but this uh this you, I don't think we rolled. Though. You haven't rolled for we damage. Just oh, roll the, for damage. You just won first. Oh, I just won. You went oh, first, first. You drew it. And we yeah, and that's it. You are going. First, I so say. you guys are each gonna roll a d20 and to see if it hits. Oh. Hmm. 17. Two. Oh! It was just disintegrate. It just... Yeah. Oh, that was my ninth level spell! 
a bollywog in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, no, that's exactly what happens. Yeah. And it, a massive beam cannon eradicates the. Uh, and Coliseum. standing there watching, uh, you, Torbeck, and Kremi can hear um, some of the talk that's happening about who even is fighting. They never announced who this was. How do we know who's dying? Hot dogs, get your hot dogs! <laughs> Man, this shadow felt stuff is pretty intense. <laughs> oh, hey, do you remember uh, Gideon's like fake name? Yeah, it's uh, Muddlema, Mundlemud. Uh, why don't you introduce him and I throw the shell at you? <laughs> <laughs> Mundlemud, Earl of Swamp. Sorry, Ribble, Ribble's got too close to the con. Oh, 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 I immediately give the conch shell back to <laughs> <laughs> And I pointed to each of them as yeah. I said it. <laughs> so wait, so what did you said? Muddle? Muddle <laughs> versus flop, but I mispronounced it's sploop. <laughs> That's a very torpid thing to do. I was I panicked. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Get your vuva velas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went out of turn. Sorry. Oh, that was my life. Use. I throw it behind me, it, and it hits the ground. There's like wailing souls <laughs> as, it, as it shatters. And All right, Gideon, it. it's your turn. All right. Um, uh, after dodging his disintegration uh, beam blast, uh, I'd like to charge at him and uh, try and try and whip my chain around him to see if I can get him wrapped up. Not doing any damage. Just wrap well, him that's up. just for starters. I'm not okay. punch him real hard. Am I rolling against this? Yep. Ooh. It's a nine to wrap you up. It's a natural one. <laughs> uh, so I would run up, flip the chain around you, and attempt to get it to swirl around your uh, form, and then, <laughs> uh, and then I would. We uh, haven't even established the safe word. <laughs> no banana, safe word. banana, banana, no, banana. No safe word for you, you greasy clown. <laughs> And I pull him towards me and then try and knock him Oh, down. well, Greasy was just uncalled. <laughs> oh, 17 to hit. Oh. How would, do I, am I rolling like... Yeah, I'm the, rolling on step. So, well, I mean, I feel like it, it counts because you're wrapping me up and punching me, so I feel like that yeah, counts. Sure. Yeah, I got a natural one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do think that's fair. You got a natural one, so... Do you want me to roll damage? No. Uh, you just, you get a... Uh, I should mark this down. Max so damage, say, got you, it. You, um... You send out your chains and you wrap up chuckles and just like um uh just like a I almost said a slinky. Uh, but just like the the wrapping up of ribbons, it's he spins towards you as as he laughs and flails his arms, um, completely uh, oblivious to what's going to happen next. And as his body slams into yours, you sink your fist into his mm. face and you watch as his uh, almost um almost like plastic like face um, begins to like contort and stretch around your fist. It's almost like Gak from when you're a kid. You punch into it and his face nice. goes and then comes oh, back together. Um, but it, it seems to do it seems to do a significant amount of damage. Full metal clown bondage. <laughs> Full metal oh. clown bondage. <laughs> and uh, there will be a bunch of uh, colorful circus peanuts that just like, hit your face. <laughs> oh. 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 Banania! Banania! <laughs> and my head will spin around. <laughs> and I will say, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say that. Uh, <laughs> Bud Light! Get your Bud Light here! <laughs> Only 16 gold pieces. Uh, so my head will spin around. <laughs> Must spin around and I'll just outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take one. As my as you knock my head, it spins around, spins around, spins around, and I just look at you, and I just spit like a, a projectile vomit of uh, oh clown. my least favorite bottle of the activity. Oh god, not the clown acid. That'll kill him right away. Oh what a wonderful day for a bloodbath. Oh. And I am going to try to um. With my uh, hands ripped, my grappled and restrained, is that how that works? Uh, yeah. Yes. 
Uh, we'll say grappled. Uh, so I will, I will do that. I will attempt to, um, say, oh, Gideon, what's your favorite animal? Quick. It's a pig, man. I've told you like Quick. four times. You've asked me every time you take over Grico's body. It's a pig. Oh, okay. Coming right up. And I'm going to, and as my hand will, uh, inflate, I will try to basically burst into, uh, a bunch of, uh, balloon animal pigs out of the, uh, out of the chains. If that's something I can do. I, you can roll for it and see if you see if you win. You can do it if you win the roll off. A three. Oh. <laughs> roll against it. One or two. I mean, ten percent chance you fuck this up. A three. <laughs> roll again. Oh. 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 We roll again. Oh, it's like playing war when you're a kid. Eight. Oh. Nineteen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you attempt to turn into these balloon animals, uh, but you and you do you you disperse into all these balloon pigs, but the chains are hot and the balloons are of a melty plastic and they they melt to and adhere to the chains and the little pigs just wiggle and wiggle trying to get away. It's a horrific sight. Oh, 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 and my face will be melting off. Oh, oh, I'll never be able to get this out. Oh, no, just hold on. Oh, ah, oh my plastic oh. flesh is burning, my rubber. <laughs> and I'll I'll take my hat and I will uh, pull it uh, w- uh, wide and I'll just pull it down and up and I'll return back to normal. Oh, that's much better and less graphic for the children. I know there's some tadpoles in the audience. We got to keep this PG. It's like Men in Black when yeah, they're yeah. skin suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Your turn, Gideon. Uh, pretzels, get your pretzels. Unsalted pretzels with avocado-based mayo. Only 23 gold pieces. <laughs> oh, never. Hold on one second, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the last charge. <laughs> Fuck that guy, right? Well, I kind of wanted some of those, man. Be- I'm a little hungry. <laughs> Unsalted pretzel? I'd eat anything. We're in a swamp. God, do you hate yourself? The last Have a little bit of self-respect. The last guy served fries, all right? You know what? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> 18. Oh, I'm gonna get a natural 20 here. I can feel it. A 14. <laughs> oh, fuck. Still wrapped up in the chains. I like to be, they don't have to be like totally wrapping you, but like just around his waist or something. I like to keep pulling him in and then punching and him back punching. out. Yeah. And you, you pull him in, you punch him, and he spins out on the chain. <coughs> you pull him back in, you punch him. This is the second one. Mm. You're beating um, snot out of him. <laughs> you're, you're, beginning, you're beginning to see his form. Shift, and you can see bits and pieces of Grico in there somewhere. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna beat you right back. <laughs> uh, uh, a few of my teeth are missing, like in a very uh, Looney Tune style. Like, oh, oh, nice shot, Gideon. I won't let this horrible clown have your body, even if I have to bury you. <laughs> no. Well, you know what they say. I'm fine getting a little roughed up. You gotta to to make an omelet. You gotta break a few eggs, and then uh, in my hands will be a big barrel. Uh, that's col- that's uh, uh, striped and uh, colorful, but like almost like a like a dark uh, tone circus. And I'm going to try to smash it over your head as a bunch of r- uh, red monkeys spill out and cover you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> <My flash! laughs> uh, okay, I flash! What a horrible way to go! <laughs> Tiny flesh eating monkeys. Oh my god! Oh, wow! Seven. One. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Was meant to be. <laughs> it's desperate. It's this desperate. is a landslide. Oh my god! I don't know, twist it or something. The monk I can't no twist. Can I twist? No, there's no, no twist. Twists yeah. in this combat. PVPs. No um, the monkeys hit the ground and they begin to sizzle and pop. These were clearly a barrel of poison monkeys. They would have <laughs> annihilated acidic poisonous monkeys. They would have annihilated your flesh. But you are able to dodge out of the way as they sizzle and pop into the earth. And they, oh, oh, they run head. away. Whatever oh, no. no, I promise I, I have more bananas. I have more bananas. Oh. Bloody Marys, get oh, your Bloody that. Marys here. <laughs> Bloody Marys with one of those deep fried cheeseburgers on top of Why the fuck not? Only 42 gold. Oh, oh it hurts. Oh, is it screaming in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. 
Oh! oh. 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 littered with vendor bodies. <laughs> <laughs> and another one comes truffling down the stairs. It's <laughs> <laughs> like fucking roller coaster tycoon. There's <laughs> <laughs> always more guests. Yeah. yeah. Somebody uh, just just stri- like you know sweeps off the wreckage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what are you waiting for, Gideon? What we do here will echo through Honkternity. <laughs> oh, my uh, teeth are missing. There's blood coming out of my eyes. <sighs> Natural to me. <laughs> 19! Oh, <laughs> that's, the worst, that's the worst number you could have gotten. <laughs> that's so much worse. Uh, is there any chance that this would be, would I get the sense that this is a, a killing blow, for instance? Or not, no, not close. So... I had set that it was going to be five. Whoever got to the fifth hit. Oh, okay. The natural, 20 the natural, too. The natural one with the monkeys counted as a hit against him. <laughs> and so that put you at three. A natural 20 counts as two. So this would be the fifth hit <laughs> per my calculations. Okay. Um, just give me one some give me one moment to say something before you do what you like. Give me a pawn, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I I grab the end of the chains and I whip a like a wave through them, launching him up in the air. And I leap up after him and grab oh, him in oh, my arms, going and spin down. upwards, <laughs> and then uh, I'll pull out a uh, uh, a sign that says "Uh oh," <laughs> and then uh, as I'm slammed down, yeah, from from twenty feet in the air, however high I can get him by whipping the chains. Uh, I'll just pile drive him back into the earth with a, with a seismic toss. Uh, as, fans. as I pull out the sign, I'll look at you and my time will stop. <laughs> and uh, I'll, uh, all my eyes will go uh, wide as my pupils get smaller, smaller, and red. As uh, I will say, that's right, Gideon, entertain them. My clown sisters are smiling at me, Gideon. Can you say the same? <laughs> and as, as you're falling, you you hear that you hear him say this to you, and as you're falling, you begin to see chuckles fade away. As Gricko's body is now in your arms, you realize it a second too late as you slam Gricko's tiny goblin body into the ground. You can hear all of his bones snap beneath. The- <laughs> Don't worry about it, I'm gonna bring you back! If I sense that this is the end, Torbeck would blow the whistle to, to like signify the end of the bout. Yeah. I, I, I will say you can easily do that. You have been watching this entire thing. You see the moment that this clown ceases to be chuckles and becomes um and becomes Gricko, and you blow the whistle a second before, notating the win of Gideon against Chuckles. Mm. Uh, I am literally in a hole in the ground yeah, of the creator. arena, and creator, I'm just yelling. Yeah. Yeah. Yamcha, yes, thank you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> thank you. I love Yamcha. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so fucked. So funny. Dust has swirled up from the base of the Colosseum as it clears. Everyone looks upon the Grigo Colosseum. And... Goes crazy. Everybody is cheering, <clears throat> and screaming. Long live. What was your your name? Uh, it's Mundlemud. Oh, Mundlemud, yeah. Mundle Mud. Mundle Mud. Mundle Mud, the winner. Mundle Mud has felled the foul beast. As Mundle Mud is, has a clean slate. That's it, folks. The clown's dead, and he disintegrated immediately, leaving a goblin he must have eaten earlier or something. <laughs> it's over? Thanks for coming. Oh, shit. Does anyone want full cooked chicken piccata on dinner plates? Chicken piccata! Hey, hot and fresh chicken piccata! Who wants some? One of the one of the bullywugs stands up and says, "Shut up! We're listening!" And he stabs you in the back. <laughs> oh, lemony capers! As the dust is settling from the athlete pile driver, I will look into the camera. And say, like, ah, could Maki have rode any worse? <laughs> <laughs> that was a streak. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, un- unbelievable that the only role I lost was initiative. <laughs> yeah, and you just, you just absolutely <laughs> landslided it. Yeah, you absolutely did. I'm sorry, Incredible. that was Chuckles. That was yeah. Cuckles. <laughs> Yikes! 
Um, and with that, the the bullywugs, um, you you hear uh, bits of conversation. Oh, but that's supposed to be lecture chef tonight. I have to put on a new dress if I'm going to watch lecture chef. Do you think that there will be something going on in the opera? I don't know. I haven't seen an opera in fifteen years, but I'd like to see one tonight if you'll escort me, Jennifer. <laughs> and they begin to make. <laughs> I'm just making names. My name right? is Jennifer. <laughs> I want to go see the opera. <laughs> <laughs> and they, without a second glance, now that this is over, they're no longer interested as they all begin to make their way towards the castle to prepare themselves for the knight's uh, endeavors. Uh, may Torbeck keep the small brass whistle? Yes. Ooh. Aww. I tuck it away in my That's filthy nice. sack. <laughs> <laughs> Right next door, he keeps his bag. I immediately start looking around for Frost and Twig. And see. <laughs> I can't believe we've got 33 bodies and not a key on one of them. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I could have sworn it was right over here. I swear. And, and as you look around, you see that there it's like it's like the the book and movie holes. <laughs> oh no. I don't know what to do. We just have to keep digging. I, I uh, we we need to get that key if we're going to free more Go. <laughs> I wanted to say more I don't even know who she is, but okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, don't you have some sort of innate abilities uh, that might be able to seek something out? I, I can only do things with my mind when I've not been spending the days like, like I have. Uh, I don't have the ability. No. Um, have you ever had hiccups before? <laughs> yes, once. Yeah, no, the only thing I could do is this. Ah! Oh! And you feel your vampiric uh, delusion leave you. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> yeah, that's all I can do. I've murdered two innocent people. What do you mean? I bit my friend Grico. What do you mean? I tried to turn you into a servant of the night. What do you mean? I'm, I'm Twig... Twigfeld! Twigfield! I was under the influence of fey magics. No! That convinced me that I was a no. vampire. I didn't get any... I, my body is full... My stomach is full of blood, but it doesn't bring me nourishment. This is... Uh, I'm not a vampire. This is... I've you, done terrible you things, you Twig. A vampire? No, I'm sorry. I'm... Thank you for... Believing in me, that's very kind, but yeah. it's all the time for an existential crisis. <laughs> With the vampire uh, confusion out of my mind, I think I may actually remember where we buried the initial bodies. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, we, I can still call you Twigfield if you like. I would like that a lot, but only in secret, so nobody else knows. Yes, I like that part too. Uh, one, two, three. Three, three trees from the entrance and about 24 paces. Well, uh, follow me. Let, 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 let's go. Bags of blood! And uh, <laughs> Bags of mysterious humanoid blood! <laughs> I break his neck with my mind and then I continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, without the uh, vampire cloud confusion, I'd yeah. like to think that Frost would immediately be able to find me. I would say easily. And so it takes... Um, it takes some more time, and I would say you stand here waiting for a while, and you don't, um, you don't see Frost coming back. There's no twig. Oh, you imagine geez. you're going to have to, you're gonna have to seek him out yourself. <laughs> well, Gurkha slaying him. Can you make sure he's not dead? Here, I, I think I still have one of these from earlier. Yeah, I do. <laughs> oh, he's fine, man. He's just playing dead. He does this every time I hit him. All right, hold still, Greco. I'm going to run over to you, and, and with, <laughs> trying to be, like, as gentle as I can, but, like, you know, I'm a lot bigger than you. I'm going to, like, grab your face with my, like, horrific... <laughs> And just like jam the entire banana down your throat and like stick my finger like way in there, like push the banana down your throat. Oh, come on, drink a small banana! And I have like this disgusting long finger that's like pushing the banana down your throat. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you can do it, Oh, You can do it. Oh, oh, man, you got to get him to chew it up. Like, move his jaw back and forth a little bit. You know? Okay. <laughs> ah, come on. And then I'll start, like, rubbing your throat. But I'm like, <laughs> come on. Twigfield. Live, damn it. <laughs> we, we have to run, Twigfield. I have a sense that somebody is jamming an unpeeled banana down someone's throat. <laughs> red. Oh, red. <laughs> it's okay. We established it was banana beforehand, so that means nothing. He's just talking crazy. Keep going. Keep going. Ah, he's, ah, my ears are tore back here. Something. Mikey, make a death saving throw, please. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> I was like, now the 20 will come. All of these dice. Now the 20 will come. I was convinced. Roll this tiny guy right here. Uh, yeah, roll another one. Two. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got the, one roll away. you got the stank on you. Surely but the bananas it's, it's reached his stomach, It's about this actually. time that the magics of the banana takes hold. You feel yourself on the brink of death. Your jaw is splintered into a, hundreds of pieces. Your bones are nothing but shards of of marrow floating in your your man flesh <laughs> but you can breathe again um as you can say this doesn't happen but as <laughs> I probably won't. as my, as my consciousness is dying as I, as I am, have no idea what just happened as chuckles has been ripped from my my brain as my as I'm failing my death saving throw Torbic is doing just as much harm as good I feel like I my vision is dark and suddenly it starts to fade in as there's like rattling on a cart <laughs> and then I see I'm like yeah, there's a, and I hear like the a carnival sounds and I'm on like basically a big goofy uh clown cart and chuckles in there and says oh good you're awake oh no as I come back <laughs> as, as soon as you're breathing I would have like oh, oh Krico is breathing Ribble is a god oh and I would like scoop you up and like and, like hug you very tight. It's about this time. Yep, that's his shoe right there. You were right, Frost. <clears throat> I can't believe it took this long. Uh, do you think that we have to rebury the other thirty-three bodies, or do you think that <laughs> the swamp will do its work? Um, yeah. <laughs> Great. You know the swamp better than I do. I just yep. wanted. To, okay. Uh, well. Um, I'll pull the shoe off, and presumably the key is inside, and I'll put the it's shoe back. Not. I'll pull the other shoe off, and presumably the key is inside. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> He's undoing his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder than it looks to me. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, he's covered in swamp gunk, so it's sticking it. You know how when you try and put pants on, when you just get out of the shower and it sticks to your skin? No. It's, oh. <laughs> Mm. No, it happens when shrug. the rigor mortis sets in. It happens you try every to time. Put, put your pants on right after you take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you towel off first? I have a towel. No, not every time. <laughs> Fun fact: uh, I once learned that uh, Steve Carell apparently does not dry off. He puts his clothes on immediately after he showers, and I can't stop thinking about it in this moment. <laughs> Nice. That reminds me of something I learned long ago. Oh, he was pretty funny and ever and almighty. <laughs> here, just, 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 just hold on to the other side and tug with me. We need to get these pants okay. off. I'm sure it's in here for some reason. Okay. <laughs> we undress both of the corpses until we find the key. You find no key. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no key on these guards' bodies. Do you think it fell off into the muck? I'll reach around with my mind hand and see if I can find it. <laughs> you can give a reach around with your mind? Yeah, I can reach around with my mind hand anytime I want to. <laughs> Gideon, <laughs> voice from nowhere. I can give him a little tug while I'm at it. <laughs> Why do you think I'm wearing this fucking robe? <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll, t uh, I'll search around to the bottom of the the swamp and see oh, if I can find an investigation, oh, investigation check. Are we playing Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> oh, that's a D one hundred. That's not right. Oh, oh. Uh, let, give me some hot twenty three action. You look around; and it's very clear there's no key here. 
Holy crap. These guards didn't possess the key. Oh no. And, uh, I feel I, I'm convinced. Do you think perhaps one of them dropped it when I initially dropped them at the entrance? <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I wasn't there at the time. When I came back, they were mostly already submerged in the muck, and you were just covered in blood thinking you were missed. Yes, I did think I was missed. <laughs> Let's hope that it's at the entrance and that okay. perhaps one of them dropped it when I okay, dropped I'll them. Okay, you. Okay. And you can roll with advantage to look at the entrance. Cat was this. Yes. <laughs> uh, 18. Uh, looking around, it's very clear that there are no signs of a key anywhere. <clears throat> well. We're going to have to go tell Crummy, and I don't think he's going to like the words that come out of our face. No, no, he's not going to like these words at all. Think he's going to yell at Twig? I'll let him yell at me. I'll take the brunt of it for you. Okay. Uh, I don't get yelled at very well. Uh, if he does, I'm he, it out, you uh, know. Oh yes, yes, I've forgotten yeah. uh, about the, the the Humphrey. Um, <laughs> let's. The Humphrey. It's not important. Let's. Uh, <laughs> I'm just really hoping I get that fourth wall promptly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go towards the back and let Kremmy know the bad news. Okay. Churros in the shape of a pretzel. <laughs> it's not dessert if it's in the shape of a pretzel. <laughs> Thirty-four bodies. At this point, uh, you have just uh, you have just brought uh, Grico too. He's he's alive. You feel like a god. <laughs> Tobek, is that you? Uh, it's Ribble, but yes. Oh, that's right, Ribble. I forgot. <laughs> did we do it? Oh, well, we did something. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I probably still have as much context as you. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> I'd like to walk up and just uh, gruffly pat Grico on the back. <laughs> Uh, and say, hey, you did great, man. I'm happy you're back. Oh, did I? Yeah. Do you think this vendor is selling any popsicles? Uh, it's clear at this point that every single vendor that had been here is gone now. The entire stadium is cleared out. <laughs> and popsicles, he slips and thinks. <laughs> me shaping gumballs in the eyes. Well, I think that guy was selling popsicles, and I mean, there's one there, but it fell on all the dirt and blood and bones and stuff. So, I mean, oh yeah, what an idiot got his blood and bones everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the <your> teeth. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you want to eat that. I mean, that's mostly you. Oh. <laughs> I love that in Grico's reality, Morgo just threw a fucking glass of swamp water yeah. in his face and then you woke up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was one hell of a swamp water. <clears throat> While that is all happening, I would just be very anxiously looking like around the, the hut where the jail is to just get any sign of frost and Bay, just like hoping for the key. And you don't look too long before you see Frost and Twig walk around the side of the hut, both of their heads held low as they walk towards you dejectedly. You're gonna yell at anyone, Krimi. Oh, Baron, help me. And I'm gonna just like, <laughs> just sort of like speed walk, start speed walking up to them when I see that they look disappointed. I wanna get in like close enough. Say, Please tell me you found the key. No, we didn't find the key. I don't think the guards. Morgo must have been mistaken. We did find the original bodies, but there wasn't a key on them. Nor was there any in the mud, nor was it at the entrance. They must not have had that key, I swear to you. I mean, she said the prison gods had the key, and it's a magic key. Right? I know she said that to you. I, I, uh... And you're damn sure you found the, the two gods you killed. I, w Allegedly. I... Well, uh, understand that I was under a curse that made me convinced that I was a vampire. That's why I went out and did the things that I did. That's why I was, you found me the way that I, I was. But once that cleared and I was able to use my mind, I was able to investigate thoroughly. You, you have to believe me, I left no swamp rock left unturned. I told you, you'll finish yourself. <laughs> I 
I look o I look around Kremi and I see the scene with Gideon and 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 Torbeck and uh, 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 the the other one Grigo and uh, <laughs> hey Frosty. Uh, what happened here, Grammy? I know everything. The plan went perfectly. I mean, every every part of the plan except your part of the plan. And I mean, unfortunately, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. Wait, the key? What if by magic key she meant like, oh, the key is like a code word that they say, and it's a magic word they speak to open and unlock it and lock it. Wow. It was like their friendship or something, and each one of them had to touch the gate, and the door would just swing open. Wouldn't that have been funny? Oh, that's magical! Yeah, it would be magical. Yeah. Or maybe it was just different gods that had the key, and we'll just wait until they show up. We have all those witnesses. And, you know, hopefully by then the word will spread. Yeah. Oh, wait, what happened to the guards that were out there? Oh, uh... <clears throat> uh... You know what, Gid? Because it's you, Frosty killed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome, man! Why did yeah, you do that? Yeah, he like ripped the fucking throat out. Holy shit! Yep. Yes, and I made one of them watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real sadistic stuff, like yeah, psychopath, I mean, serial killer stuff. Oh, can't you just kill them with your mind? Like, why'd you have to make one watch? Well, I wanted their hearts beating while I sucked the blood from their body. If you have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, okay, it, that explains is it. Is that obvious, that, Gideon? <laughs> it wasn't, but now that you explained it, it makes perfect sense. I'm ashamed so. of what I did. Well, the good news is, <laughs> is that if if, if uh, Downfall is a union town, their replacement should be showing up right on time, according to their negotiated shift start. I wonder when that is. <laughs> we could ask uh, Morgo. Or perhaps she has an idea about where the key could be if she understands that the guards didn't have that on them. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Don't don't tell her you killed the guards. But tell her, maybe say that they skipped out because they you know heard the commotion on the other side and they just enjoyed the festivities and left. Perhaps they enjoyed the festivities so much they went on a vacation. <laughs> to, oh yeah, that's to a great idea. Enjoy <laughs> other varieties of uh, uh, of similar festivities. Yeah, yeah. In other lands. <laughs> And, and they probably pack with them, like, you know, uh, a variety of clothing in case it got too hot or too cold. Mm -hmm. And it's a kind of more of a temperate area. The, the nights might be a little chilly, you know? <laughs> sure, they had a pair of, they have a, a pair of jeans as well. I'll mention that if she asks. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know how that helps me with this lie. I felt like the vacation thing was really solid. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a good, it's a good idea. It's a vacation. Where, where are they going? Uh, they're going to... Uh, uh, to... Uh, uh, yawn uh, to see other trials by combat. Oh yeah, try, and they booked it with their travel agent Stacy, and she said they should pack a pair of jeans for the chilly nights. Yes, uh, I solicited all of this information when I asked about the key, and they told them told me that they didn't have them. Correct? Yeah, it's a good idea. That's and they took idea. a balloon. Right? Oh, they, they took, took a, a balloon. balloon. Yeah, they they were saving up, and they were able to get business class because they don't get to take these trips very often. <laughs> Okay. So that's a good. Uh, Wait, why are they coming back? How long is the trip? Uh, they, they, you know, they didn't mention it. They didn't. They, they, they said vacation. Well, that's not very believable if, if you don't know how long it is. Look, I don't really want to lie to, Ma to Morgo. All right, why don't we just go in there and say, "Oh, the gods didn't have the key." Was it another set of gods? Do they show up later? When do they show up? Was it a special? What is it a key? Was it a key in like a metaphorical sense? Oh. That's, all right, I'm just let me. I'm not sure. I'm, st I'm still feeling a little off from my experience earlier. My magical hand produces a dinner plate. Oh, chicken piccata. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a churro shaped like a pretzel? I'll duck in the Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I make my way back to Morgo, presuming everyone comes yeah, with me. And yeah, uh, we go back inside. All right, Morgo, it's done. <clears throat> well, I got at least fifty witnesses, probably close to a hundred. <laughs> Some of them are dead. All right. <laughs> well, unlock the cell. Well, here's the thing. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing. Uh, the guys didn't have the keys on them. Yes. What do you mean they did? Of course they had the keys on. They each should have had a key. They each had a key? Yes. Well, of according to them, 
They didn't have any keys. Around the neck, they wore a chain, and on it, there was a metal frog-shaped box, and inside of it was a small key. These are details I could have used earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like this, that I took off the guards before we buried them? <laughs> and she holds up exactly what Morgo has described. We're going to talk about this later, Twigfield. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do good? Well, there was the sandals that they wanted to go to. <laughs> Yes. So they have. Oh, all right, here we go. He's no, 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 no. Feet from the air, and it, it, his head hit the ground. So. <laughs> yes, they, they told us they gave us the keys that Twig just produced, Morgo, and uh, uh, then they said that they were going to go to. Uh, yeah, uh, I like frogs. I thought it was a real one, so I tried to lick it, and then I realized it was a necklace. And I thought, well, I can't lick it, but I can wear it. So I took it because we were going to bury him anyway. So I didn't think it'd be a big deal. You are a genius, Twig. You can keep those once we use them to free Morgo. Okay. Yeah, and may, the key may, too? May I see the keys? Well... You'll get them back. I've grown really attached to both of them. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> we just need the... It's a key inside the... It's like a frog locket with a key inside, right? Frog with a key inside. Like one of those deals. This one's named Bill. And this one's Ted. Oh. And in my mind, they can travel through time. Mm. That's you, ridiculous. You know, we can all travel through time. They would have the most bogus adventures. Do you mind if I take a look at one of those? Well, I don't know. Ask them. What to do there, Mr. Frog Pendant Key thing? You mind Ask if I... them by their names. <sighs> what are their names? I just told you. It's, it's, it's Bill and Ted, man. Oh. Just said. Yeah. Yeah, you're not a very good listener, Kremlin. You're being literal. Oh, all right, uh, Bill, Ted, do you mind if I open you up and pull out one of them keys? I just need one. And give them back to Twig and afterwards? Give it back in 30 seconds or less. Is that okay? Oh, your peach is free. That's what the Green Baron guarantees. I just snap one open and grab the key out and they, they open very easily and they're clearly two identical keys inside. It looks like whichever guard had been here would have easily been able to use it to unlock the key. I'll just immediately unlock the key, throw it back in, and pass it back. Yes! Hi, Bill! Hi, Ted! And she puts them both around her neck. Totally. <laughs> totally. All right. Oh, the, um, the, uh, the, the gate to the, to the cage swings open and Morgo stands up and she picks up the few belongings she had with her. Um, something appears to look like a journal, a small satchel, uh, a rock, a couple of other things. She shoves into her bag and uh, writes the hood on her neck and or on her shoulders. And well, thank you for that. We have a lot to do, but I promise I'm honorable. I will be a valuable companion, mm. and you have done a great service to me this day. And so, Morgo, previously the former, but now the current Knight of Wards, is eternally in your debt. And she moves to step forward, and as she does, she slams into a magical force field and shoots backwards back into the cage. She, she looks up and she goes, did you make sure to mention my name in the tournament? And that is where we'll end the session. <laughs> oh, no. Oops. Oh, oh no. And Mikey was thinking that. <laughs> but Gricko was in chuckles, who didn't care about such things. And so there was no way to ask if th that any of the witnesses were clear that Morgo was being fought. It's oh. too hot for these mind games, Nikki. <laughs> this is hard shit. Oh. I, I was just an accomplice to two murders. It's like one of those hell loops where you open the door and you're still in prison. Oh. Oh. Honestly, I think our body count for this episode is the highest so far. <laughs> oh, certainly. We all the vendors, 
Yeah, Thirty-three new bodies from the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and I love two guys. Someone replies to, "Hey guys, they accomplished something with this comment in nature." <laughs> <laughs> Big oof. We're not done. Grief. What's next? Whoever the. It's a Vantress and Chill, but we're not doing a Vantress and Chill tonight. We are still going to answer questions and talk about our favorite moments and do that so but chill just doesn't feel like the right it's a word. Yeah. Hot as hell. It's, it's a dantri- it's a vantress and boil. A vantress and boil. Uh stay tuned uh for that. Uh but if you are gonna head out, uh, we'll be back here on Friday night with Derek's campaign Icebound. And oh, the AC so is going right to be now. fixed uh, by Hooker Cook. Uh, it's our survival, hardcore survival campaign. Uh, it's a little crunchier, but still goofy and still has wacky characters. I'm really happy with the balance of crunch and goof. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah. Um, and then other than that, we're back here uh, next Wednesday. You know, Crunch and Goof is the title of the Goof Troop fan fiction I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a Captain Crunch Goof Troop crossover. Uh, it's an AU that I invented. Oh, okay. One of the chances. Okay. Uh, the um, incredible nautical adventure. If you don't fix the uh, AC, I don't know if we can do Icebound. The whole thing will melt. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. The whole continent will melt. Uh, well, at the very least, let's hope the outside temperature drops at least 30 degrees. No, it will. It will. The AC better be fixed. No, so going today's to 86, tomorrow's 85, and then it's going to go back to our regularly scheduled I literally am not going to get any sleep until the AC is fixed. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's rough. Uh, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Let's chill. Boil. Mm.